My name's Steve Fairclough, and for the last 30 years or so, I've been a professional musician. Um, during that time, I've been an endorsee and a clinician for some of the nicest and uh, best guitars in the world. Um, indeed, there's not many guitars that I haven't played uh, over my time and, uh, and used in anger. Um, I wanted to talk to you about this one, though. This one's a particular favourite of mine. Uh, it was actually the first proper guitar I ever owned. I got it when I was 18, which is too many years ago for me to want to care to remember but um, it was just before I, I went to play uh, in New Orleans in America for the first time and um, I needed a guitar that was very versatile uh, it's a Gordon Smith which uh, they're not unknown um, lots of people know who they are and, and usually the people that know really really like their stuff the reason I wanted to mention it is that they're still here um, amongst all the uh, brand new designs and all the clever trickery and wizardry that uh, luthiers come up with these days these guys are still there and they're still making absolutely wonderful guitars they're pretty simple and that doesn't mean that they're not uh, they're not great it just means that they're a pretty simple idea um, they don't do anything particularly fancy they just make really great stock guitars and this was one of them this was a Gemini from uh, 1981 which was uh, the, the the flagship range. The reason I'm talking about it is that I had uh, occasion about six months ago to take it back to them to give it a bit of a, a brush and a polish up and a fret dress and all the rest of it and they talked to me about not only that but about a little upgrade that they had. Um, so I was interested because as I say these guys don't usually deal with gimmicks or things like that um, and they told me about the Volumax booster uh, and indeed the uh, the black booster. Um, in the end I had it fitted and I had it fitted because it suits me beautifully but it's a very uh, subtle and, and uh, whenever people say subtle it usually means it doesn't do very much this one really does but you kind of feel it as a player um, as well as as well as hear it so what I thought I'd do is just uh, give you a little bit of a demo of, of what that is uh, and show you my beautiful uh, Gordon Smith Gemini and um, well, make your own mind up about it. So uh, this is the Volume X Booster. If I put this on, the sound I'm kind of going to uh, demonstrate is, is a sound that I particularly like. It's the it's that real sort of um, well, I guess it's the Robin Trower live 1974 sort of thing, um, a, a 50 watt Marshall being overdriven just slightly, um, and it's beautiful. So, so I, I've kind of got this happening here. I've got the master channel uh, quite low and the, the, the actual channel up. And uh, if I bring this in, you'll hear just as I push, push the volume, do we get that lovely creamy? <laughs> So what it's doing is adding about maybe I don't know 10% more gain to your actual pickup but it's much much nicer than using a boost pedal it's much more you can actually feel it, it, it it's beautiful um, and that is on the humbuckers I would think that if you retrofitted this to a single coil to a strat or something like that you'd really see a heck of a difference um, so I've recorded a few little bits uh, I'm using it cutting it in and out um, see what you think but this is from Gordon Smith and it's the Volumax booster Thank you. 